Hello everyone, welcome to this new video where we are going to solve this equation. First of all, I would like to thank you for all your comments and suggestions for the previous video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So let's just rewrite this equation as 3 power 1 times 3 power x plus 3 minus 3 power 3 times x plus 3, sorry, plus 3 equal to 2. Okay, this is again 3 times 3 power x plus 3 minus 3 minus 3 power x plus 3 cube equal to 2 okay we have this we have that we see that we have the same value here so if you call this y y equal to 3 power x plus 3 now our equation can be written as 3 y minus y cube equal to 2 okay we have this equation and we can rewrite it as y cube plus 3 y minus 2 equal to 0 which can also be written as y cube minus 3 y plus 2 equal to zero okay this is the new equation we need to solve okay let's rewrite again this equation in this form y cube minus y minus 2y which is minus 3y here okay plus 2 equal to 0 so this is still the same equation okay we can see that if we have y inside this and y inside this one so if we put y outside we'll have a y square minus 1 minus we do the same thing here we have 2 here and 2 here and if we put 2 outside we will have minus 2 y minus 1 equal to 0 okay we have this let's just expand this one so what is this we have y this one is y minus 1 factor y plus 1 okay and this is minus 2 y minus 1 equal to 0 okay, we see that we have we have y minus 1 here and y minus 1 here so we can put it outside so we have we have here y minus 1 here we stay with y times y plus 1 minus 2 equal to 0 which is again y minus 1 times y square plus y minus 2 equal to 0 okay we have this one what is uh, the solution of this equation here we need to know the solution of this equation so let's just solve it uh, we have here delta of this equation here delta on this equation here will give us delta is b square b which is one this is b here in front and this is a and this is C here. 
okay so let's just solve it what is delta delta is b square which is one square minus for a which is one and c which is minus two which is one plus eight which is nine which is again three square so the square root of delta is three okay now let's just so this equation has two solution as delta is positive so the first solution is y1 which is minus b which is minus one minus the square root of delta divided by two a and a is one so this one is minus two and the second solution is y2 which is minus one plus the square root of delta divided by 2a and a is 1 so which is 1 becomes 1 so this equation here so this equation here is again okay let me rewrite it so the equation y square minus y square plus y minus 2 is again y minus 1 1 y plus 2 okay if we replace it here in all these if we replace it in all this one we'll have that our equation is something our equation is y minus one times y minus one times one plus two equal to zero okay now okay now so, so this equation can be written as y minus one square times y plus two equal to zero okay so this means y is equal to one or our y is equal to minus two just remember that our y we choose our y equal to three power x plus three which is always greater than zero so we cannot choose this value of y here we cannot choose it so the value you consider is y equal to one so if we replace it here we will have one we'll have one equal to three power x plus three okay now we just need to solve and find this value of x which is the solution of our equation so what is this we have 3 power x plus 3 equal to 1 so if you apply the ln on both sides of this equation we'll have ln ln here is just a log function ln here is ln of 3 plus 1 equal to 1 okay now if you apply the property of the ln function here we know that ln of a power x is equal to x ln of a if you apply it here this becomes x sorry this becomes x plus 3 
ln of 3 equal to ln of 1. Okay. Now we have this. This means I have x ln of 3 plus 3 ln of 3 equal to ln of 1 which is 0 ok this means here finally I have that x ln of 3 equal to minus 3 ln of 3 so I can easily say, see that my x is equal to minus 3 ln of 3 divided by ln of 3, which means x is equal to minus 3. So this is the solution to my equation, which is x 3 power x plus 4 minus 3 power 3x plus 9 equal to 2 so we can check that this is the good solution if we replace x here with minus 3 what will we have we'll have here 3 power minus 3 plus 4 minus 3 power power 3 times minus 3 plus 9 which is this one this one is 3 power 1 minus and this one is 3 power minus 9 plus 9 so this is 3 power 1 minus 3 power 0 which is 3 minus 1 every number power 0 is 1 so which is equal to 2 this means that this is really the solution of our equation thank you for watching the video like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you